Hi everybody, how are you? Okay, I have been buying some craft supplies over the last few months and they are starting to make little piles all over my craft room and it's driving me crazy and I want to put them away. So I thought I would show um, what I purchased before I put everything away. Now these, this is what I got from Blitzy. That's the first thing I want to show you. I purchased this little container to um, house these little tiny stamps. So I've got one, two, three, four, five of them already. Um, and I really like them. They come in handy, these little tiny uh, stamp pads. They're just so cute. So I think, you know, once this is full, I don't think I'm going to um, get, be getting any more. But um, they keep falling and the lids fall off. Indy likes to play with them. And the next thing you know, it's on the floor. So I got this little container. Then I've been hearing a lot about Distress Oxide. These are new ink pads by Tim Holtz. So I got three of them because I just wasn't sure if I was gonna like them or if they're really a big deal. So I got Broken China, Fire Brick, Fired Brick, and Spiced Marmalade. And I wanted to see if they really are, how different they are compared to these ones. So this one is the regular ink, Distress Ink in Broken China, Fired Brick, and I have the small one of Spiced Marmalade. So uh, what I did is I used my craft mat and I took all the oxide ones and I made a line and I made a line like this and another one and then I took my water sprayer and sprayed and then I took a tag and I laid the tag down um, and I wanted to see what the difference was between these and these. So I used two different kinds of tags. I'm going to I'm going to go get the package now just so I can remember what kind of tags they were. I don't have the regular packaging anymore but these are the tags. They um, the finish is kind of glossy on the outside, not too glossy, but um, definitely not a matte finish. And that's what I used, yeah, that's what I used on these. Now, I wonder, can you tell? Actually, I'm almost forget which is which. But this is the Oxide inks. And they have, they dry kind of like um, like chalk. So if I run my finger across it, see it comes off on my finger, see that? Um, but as far as the brilliance of color, um, not a whole lot of difference on this type of tag. So then I thought I would try it on another type of tag, and that's this one, and this is called, the finish actually is not a whole lot of different. I'd say this one is a little more, um, sheen to it than this one. This one is more matte. This one is more glossy. I'm going to go find the original packaging for this. So I think I got them from here. These ones. Or maybe not. Or yeah, maybe. Uh, okay, so that's what these ones are. And this is what it looks like. This is Oxide and this is the regular Distress Ink. Um, so you can see, I think, like the regular inks are more vibrant. This one dries a chalk finish. Um, you know, and after I put three colors down, spritzed it with water, and then laid this down, then I heat dried it, and then I took my water spritzer and I just kind of tapped it a little bit, and then the, the droplets fell on it. And then I took a wet, um, wet wipe and dabbed it. I did that on this too. So you know, I'm for I'm probably not going to go out and buy like the whole. I think there's twelve colors. I'm probably not going to go out and get them. I'm probably still going to pick up um, a pink oxide and maybe vintage photo. And that's about it. But um, it it's not enough to impress me where I want to get all of them. So anyways, I thought I would share that with you. All right, let's put these away and I'll show you what else I got. All right, then I went to Walmart 
and all I got was this book. <laughs> but they have, see this one says lots of love. Well, there's all kinds of um, different, they had like four or five different themes. And it's just full of stickers. Stickers and these postcards. They're not quite a four by six, but if you included the blue in the background, you could make them four by six and they would be great for the six by eight project, um, yeah, six by eight project life or um, the six by eight, if you're doing six by eight pocket letters. So I'll go through it really fast. There's lots of stickers in here and that's why I bought this. I bought this for my um, planner book because the stickers are small and it will work. So lots of hearts, lots of hearts. This one's cute, this will be nice in the fall. Love the fox, a birdie, the birdcage. Cute little sayings here. Lots of hearts. There are a lot of heart stickers in here. Isn't that cute? Look at that fox. That would be cool for spring. How sweet is that? Postage stamp stickers. So for, let me see, how much did this cost me? Lots of letters are in here too. Uh, $10, $10, and I think this was 20-30% off as well. So we get a lot of stickers in here. That was from Walmart. Uh, where was this? Oh no, this is um, an online Canadian scrapbook store. And let me grab the address here for you. So it's called Scrap and Great Deals. It's in Ontario, Canada. And look what I got, how sweet. So this is the Julie Nutting uh, stamp set, planner stamps, and it's called Make Kindness Happen. Very sweet. Um, I am not putting this stamp set away. Whenever I get any new supplies, it usually is in a basket or a container somewhere around my craft table because until I use this, I can't put it away. I have to use it. Otherwise, I'll forget that I have it. But um, I really love it. It's got the cutest little sayings in here. Um, perfect for your planner. Very cute. I love it. Glad I got that. Then I picked up this set, the die and the stamp set by Lon Fawn called Love Letters. And um, even if I just wanted it because it's got, look at the cute little envelopes. Look, it's got a little cell phone, a uh, little envelope with the letter going inside. It would, it, and the sayings are cute. It's just nice to have this if you ever want to do a project with little envelopes or something. So I think this was on sale, so I picked that up. And then I got this here. I like it. I love the 3x4 size and perfect for either Project Life or pocket cards for your pocket letters. All right, so that was, where was that again? Scrap and Great Deals. And now I'll show you what I picked up at our local scrapbook store here in town. They have these little flowers on sale and these are so pretty. And you know what it goes really nice with is this wild honey. So I'm thinking a card or a tag or something. They just go together really nice. Or even actually these tags that I just made. Hey, wouldn't that look pretty? Then I picked up this stamp. This was not cheap. This cost, I think, seven, seven or eight dollars. That's a lot of money for a little tiny stamp, but it's just so cute. And I just love it. it says handmade right on the sewing machine, so I had to get that. This was on sale. Isn't this cute? Little Darling's rubber stamp, and she is called Boho Chic. This was, I don't know how much it was, but 50% off. Why not? She's a doll. Love a Ken Harley way. Obviously, I am not going to be coloring her as good as this, but I'll try. And then I had to get these stickers. These are so cute. They're really funny. Um, I'm going to have to 
put them in my planner. Um, I abuse the plastic, which I don't, but I'm just going to have to use these just because of that walk of shame. Shop by day, stock by night. Shopping is my anti-drug. <laughs> Aren't they cute? And then I got this here. These are uh, clear stickers of um, every month of the year. I thought I could use that in my planner. This is by Basic Gray. It's called Fresh Cut. And these stickers I thought would be perfect for spring and summer. Aren't these cute? These look like those little, you know, pegs that you put in um, a pot of flowers. It says you and me, perfect day, lovely. Here's a tab, love this picture. So this is really cute. Look, season of new beginnings. So that probably could go on a page in my planner when it's, you know, the start of summer. And then I got some paper. Tell you the truth, I got two of these. I don't know why, what, you know, attracted me to this or what turned me on, but maybe it's just the, all the little cards in it and the writing. So probably some, I probably got this because I thought it'd be a nice, nice background for making cards. And that's the other side of it. Very bright red polka dotty. And then I got this one. You know, I'm really enjoying making either pocket letters, this six eight by six by eight size, or um, Project Life this size. I really like it, um, and why? And that's why I'm starting to collect these paper because this is perfect four by six and three by fours, and it's sewing themed. I really like that. I thought it was really pretty, and the back is really cool. I love book page paper and this one how cool is that look at those boots and that's the back and that's really pretty oh wow I love that I just love the wood grain look and I think that's it oh no one more even though my daddy is has passed away and he is in heaven I still want to do you know like a layout or um, a card or something for Father's Day and I thought this would be this would be perfect then I want to share with you my haul my washi tape haul from Aliexpress it took such a long long time to get here but very happy that it arrived this is and look at this cute little box too it came in this is like makeup washi oh it is so cute i think it's called nail what yeah it's called nail polish oh no i don't know what it's called so the makeup one isn't that cute love it a little nail polish and the brush and it says body cream a compact mascara lipstick and then this one here is coffee themed so different coffee cups and mugs love that so I think yeah I got three rolls of the coffee and a couple of rolls of the makeup one okay everybody that's it hope you're all having a Fabulous and happy crafty day. See you in the next video. Bye.